Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kevin, and this channel is devoted to helping people learn how to make the internet and how to make it look good while they're at it. This week is the start of a really big series and one that I'm really excited about. We're going to be looking at the basics of HTML and CSS. This series is really aimed at people who are just starting to get their feet wet in the world of web development. We're going to be going all the way back to the very basics in this one, starting this week with just an introduction to HTML, what it is, and how it works. So let's hop to it. So before we get into writing our own code, let's take a look at what HTML is and, and how it actually works, because it's kind of weird when you're not used to it. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And hypertext is pretty much just a fancy way of saying text that can actually link to other things, you know, other pages or different parts in the same page. HTML is a very simple language, and it's made up of things called tags. And to understand how this works, I'm going to use a little bit of a metaphor on this one. Let's say you've got a birthday present, and it's all wrapped up, and it's ready to go. Well, the first thing we have is a wrapping paper. Now, our computers are dumb. If we tell it that we have a piece of wrapping paper, it's going to assume it's an infinite piece of wrapping paper. It just goes on forever and ever and ever. So we have to tell it that our piece of wrapping paper actually ends somewhere. So we start that off, we have our wrapping paper, and we put in these little triangle brackets, and then we close our wrapping paper. So those are the tags, and they show the start and the end of a wrapping paper. So the triangle brackets, and we put wrapping paper in there, it starts our wrapping paper, and then we tell the browser or our computer that we're ending our wrapping paper by putting the same thing, but we put that little forward slash there at the beginning to say this is the end of my wrapping paper. Now, obviously we're not just giving someone a big piece of wrapping paper. Inside the wrapping paper we have something like a box. And then, well, inside this box we have, let's say, a nice new train set. So again, the box, we have an open air box and we're the end of our box. And then we have our train and the end of our train. And well, this train, it's made up of a few parts. We don't just have a train, the train has different pieces to it. So we have the locomotive that pulls it along and we have a few different cars in there as well. Now these aren't real tags, but it gives us an idea of how it's all going to work. The opening tag is always inside those triangle brackets, and the closing tag is always the exact same thing, but with that forward slash in it. That tells the browser that we've closed our wrapping paper, or our box, or our train. So we have our wrapping paper, and inside our wrapping paper we have our box, and inside of our box we have our train, and our train is made up of these four different parts. As I mentioned, these aren't real tags. We're just, you know, we aren't putting trains in websites. Uh, but this is how tags work, and I just want to make sure you guys have sort of had a rough idea of how it actually does work uh, before we really got it started. Now with HTML, there are a whole bunch of tags, and we can only use the actual HTML tags. We can't make up our own, we can't make trains and cars and boxes and wrapping paper, as cool as and easy, I guess, as that might make it. Uh, but luckily, even though there's a whole bunch of them, we only really have to worry about a few really important ones, especially when we're starting out. And in the next video, you'll find out what they are. So I look forward to seeing you then. I hope you liked this video a lot. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to it so you can keep following along with this series, and have yourselves a great day until next time.